Hello everybody, Destroyer here, and I'm back with another live commentary game of Battle for Miller 2, Rise of the Witch King. Patch 2.2, version 5.0.1. Today we're having a 2v2 on Austin Edhill. Which, uh, could be interesting. So, let's hope we don't lose today. Let's get ourselves some starting tunnels here. Not prime spots to put them, but I'm just putting them down very quickly. I don't give a shit. Alright, so let's see what our partner is. Our partner is Bushit, I believe. And he is also goblins, which is interesting. There's gonna be a lot of goblin spam here. Alright, fair enough. Let's go for our first cave. And then we'll go for a third goblin tunnel as soon as we get uh, the resources there. As we can get that before we get the goblin cave done. And I like keeping my structures close to the fortress so they are defended by said fortress. Should I spy? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should. How well can goblins run off of three caves? Probably pretty well, I'd imagine. Or three tunnels. Rather, we could go for um, another cave. Might not be a bad idea. I'll go two caves, I think. Bushit is going cave and another cave. Okay. Let's just, co let's just copy Bushit. He knows what he's doing. I could have swore I already bought some warriors. You, you guys saw me click on this, right? Ah! Oh well. Okay, well that put me a little behind. Let's actually queue up two of those. I'm not very good at harassing with my goblin warriors, I gotta admit. I'll do my best. That's why I usually play more defensively than most players, which is not a good thing. But generally speaking, you want to be very aggressive with your goblins. Trying to sneak around and s destroy as many resource buildings as possible. And just kind of outswarm the opponent. Which is the idea. So we'll just send some guys that way. Cube another one. I didn't actually look to see what our opponent was because I was busy talking during blowing screen, so I have no idea what to expect. But I uh, probably should get a spider pit, as I might need that to counter cavalry. Spiderlings are good against cavalry in this patch. More so than goblin warriors, I would say, as they can't be trampled and they uh, are very fast, so they can't actually keep up. Going as well. Here we go. Ah, he did go cavalry. Okay. That's good to know. I guess we are, our intuition with the spiderlings was correct. So we'll just keep sending men in. No, it's not really going to help us. As uh, the cavalry is going to destroy my guys. But we can uh, keep them over here at least. Alright, spiderlings. How much? 300. I don't think they can outright defeat uh, Rivendell Lancers in a fight. But they definitely help, at least. Use the poison blades. Why not? Ah, he's going heavy. Heavy amounts of them. Copious amounts of spiderlings. Alright, well. I'm not just going to keep throwing goblins away against cavalry, because really it doesn't help. I will keep trying with these guys, though, at least. No. Uh, yeah, they, didn't, <laughs> they get, literally got nothing accomplished. Alright, let's see what we can do with these. If we have a big enough attack force, I think we should be okay. We just should also get war chant. So he's going heavy, heavy cavalry, meaning we shouldn't need anything but spiderlings or something like that. For now, spider riders would be good too. And half trolls or trolls if I want. Trolls are obviously very good. Alright, let's throw this down there. Hopefully that gets our spiderlings. Did not get our spiderlings. That sucks. Alright, let's push forward. 
complete waste of war chant there. That's unfortunate. Let's head over towards the middle with that farm. I'm gonna try to utilize my spiderlings effectively. I'll just throw them away. Let's group them as group two. Group one as them. So let's go that way. Group two can go this way. How's Bushi doing? He's versing Angmar spam. And, well, I'm glad I'm against elves, I guess. And let's actually set our waypoints here. We can set them by holding shift and right clicking. So we got a bit of lag there. Ah, no. Humanity. Hopefully, we kill a few of them. And unfortunately, spiderlings are not good against uh, archers, it seems. So if we put them on aggressive. Uh, yeah, not the best. Alright, well, that should have been backwards. The goblin should have been on the other side. Hmm. Alright, well, let's not charge these in. I don't think they're going to get a whole lot done. <laughs> this this is the problem I always run into. I just don't know what to do against like certain things. I have an idea. I know spiderlings are the counter. I just don't know how to utilize them. I mean, he does have warriors now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need lots of spider riders. I think he has no pikes as far as I've seen. So we need to take advantage of that when we can. Uh, let's go for another tunnel. I'm hoping there's no cave troll or anything of that nature there. Alright, spider pit is expanded. Good. We need these desperately. What the hell? Oh, must be Bushu. Alright, I think we have a sizable force. Let's send him in. Let's not send these in. So half that way, half that way. Break it. Destroy. Hopefully that uh, does something. Huh? Alright, good. Dress stance, of course. We spotted the enemy. What else is new? Alright. Spider riders, yes. Kill these things. Crunch. Spider Riders will easily deal with uh, the Lorian warriors. These elven scum. And of course, the best way to counter our archer problem as well. Maybe we should just go double his point, our teammate. That might be an idea. Start sending our goblin warriors that way. Let's also send the Spider Riders. Where'd they go? God, where did they go? Over there. Let's actually get ourselves another uh, spider pit there. Let's deal with this scum. Oh yeah, there we go. Silly Ingmar. Right, he's he's helping his partner there, which is good. He won't be attacking Bushit or attacking me. So let's get a ton of these. Let's queue up a few of these. And let's go for a fissure, I think, as well. Put that there and get a spiderling expansion if I can. I don't think I've ever built a burrows expansion. It's a cool idea, but I have tunnels around my base, so that seems pointless, I think. So we'll build that to help that safe keep that safe. One with those, group two with these. Okay. We'll try that. Alright, I'm gonna send my guys in to assist Bushit and ignore the elves. Could be a bad idea, could be a good idea. We shall see. Let's upgrade that, and that's all we can do for now. Just get a large spam, send them in our opponents. Let's uh, also group our guys up so we can war chant. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. There we go. 
throw that. Those are not ours. Good. Oh, this is some Dark Rangers. I think it's time to crunch these things. It's crunch time. Oh, nope, stopped. No big deal. Looks like somebody should have built some pikemen. Alright, so hopefully that'll do. Let's get rid of this Hall of Kings men. Alright, spiderlings run away. We'll at least get this and run. Let's try not to run into some pikes here. Ooh, that battalion's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Oh! We're in trouble. I guess I should have expected that. Let's actually just send some guys up here. Lots of spider riders coming in. That should be useful. And we'll utilize our guys nicely, I hope. Although he's doing a good job of porcupining his, porcupining his guys. So let's take up the pikes. Is kill all the pikemen off, and then you can just run your guys through. What can we save up for? Scavenger, of course, would be the best thing we could get, I'd imagine. Let's try not to run into those. Well, I failed that. <laughs> Alright. Go. All right. These are doing it nicely. Let's throw some half drum riders into the mix. And then we'll go actually attack these guys. I'd like them all in spear mode. Probably don't want to be in that stance. There we go. If we can kill all these, that'd be ideal. We seem to be carving our way through them, which is nice. Can we block them? No, they seem to run through us. Okay. Just get a big trample on these guys. Very nice. Double Goblin is pretty powerful. Goblin is the most powerful team in this patch, I believe, as said by many of the pro teams. Oop. Uh, these guys are way out of position. But at the same time, are they? No. They seem to be just in the right spot. Well, the elves' army is dead. Let's split up our guys and start attacking his resource buildings. That would be quite useful. These guys need to be very careful. Oh, there we go. There's a tree. The more trees I can get rid of, the better. Ah, we lost some spider eggs. That's unfortunate. We should get this, though. Let's make sure we get it. In fact, I'm going to take advantage of the fact he's not defending his stuff as well. Oh. Well, this is not ideal. Let's try and take that out. He does have Lindens now, which is pretty bad, honestly. All right, Captain Marauders, you do your thing. We can get a Dragon Lord very soon. Sheila might be good against these horse archers. I'm not sure. I am rather curious. I could get a Dragon Lord, which probably is a good choice against elves, of course. <laughs> When is Dragon Lord not a good choice, right? So we'll try that. But we are getting his original farms, which is great. Let's do as much damage as possible. Rogoth, there you go. Let's actually stop our thing from going a bit too far there. So we get some of them, we we'll get some of them. And then we'll just keep getting other things as we can. Looks like he saved his farm, unfortunately. And I should probably build another tunnel. I've been slacking on the old resources department. Uh, okay. 
Bush has erected a tower in the middle, which is nice, I suppose. Get another lumber mill if we want to. I don't see why not. More money, the better. Alright, we'll keep these guys in the tunnel, I think. And probably want more spider riders. Drogoth is going to be our meal ticket, though. Hopefully he can ride into victory. <laughs> ride in on a dragon and win. That's what I want to do. So I'm not going to waste my time sending in my Gullivan Warriors. They'll probably just die. If I had the backup from the spider riders, I would. Because then they could uh, catch the archers out of position. Which I'm sure will happen. Unfortunately, he does have a lot of these uh, archer cavalry, which are very strong. Not entirely sure how you counter that with goblins. I'm gonna try it with Drogoth, though. Which doesn't sound ideal, but it might be just just, just what we need. Alright, we'll try it. Load, load our army here. Let's make sure we do not send Drogoth in by himself. We'll just attack move. Send Drogoth into the mountain. His fireball should be extremely useful. And we'll think. Alright, we got some spider riders. Very good. Oops. That was not what I wanted to do. Group them is group two. The main bulk of our army will go that way. This way, I think. Send them those that way. That way. And more spider riders and goblin warriors, I think. And maybe a subgrader figure. Alright, Drogoth, you got a mission. Let's be careful with them, though. Very, very careful. He does have Merkwoods, which is bad. He does Noldors as well. Let's get out of here. Get off the fireball. Time to go. Let's see how many of these things we can take out. Alright, you shouldn't be able to shoot him, I think. Put him on the ground. I will try and destroy as many things as possible here. Send those guys over that way to hopefully deal with that. I should have four chained these. Ah, God. Let's run away. Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how to counter these. Trolls might be good, I guess. The rock throw could be useful. We'll get some goblin archers, goblin warriors. Get some more spider riders. Yeah. Now we're talking. Unfortunately, our... Guys could die there. Okay, bets could be good, I suppose. Actually, no, we need to save a Wildman. Wildman could be the key here. Hmm. Some darkness. Alright, so I need to be careful not to attack move my entire army. Or else my Drogoth will be killed very quickly. I could just go help Busha, actually. With my Drogoth. Could be a good idea. Send Drogoth that way. Alright, now that we got some darkness, I think we'll go in. Some those that way, some these this way. Let's pillage and burn to our heart's content. So I'll send Drogoth over here. I just don't, I don't think he's very useful against the... Let's kill this builder if we can. a nice pickup. There we go. We'll also kill Haldir if we can, which will also be useful. Make sure we destroy all we can. There's some Noldors. Let's take out them. 
Let's also get some summon wildmen. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's back up. Oops. Not want to actually use these guys. <laughs> Total accident. I should actually send the ring home though. I think we'll do that. So we utilize this darkness as best we can. That's another fissure. Okay. Fair enough. Drogoth, forgot about him. But he seems to be doing a nice wave. We just gotta make sure he doesn't die. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, fireball it. Enough of this. I'm not letting that bear carrier live. Wild fail. Hope to swoop in and get the kill then. Usha has brought some giants though. Good. Alright, let's make sure we kill these. Poison blades is P, okay. Good to know. Nice. Going pretty well so far. I'm not the greatest spammer in the world, but doing alright, I think. As long as Bushi kills his guy, that's all that really matters, honestly. So let's continue getting trolls, goblin warriors. The darkness is really, really helping. As you might imagine. Let's queue up our structures over there. I'm gonna send him this way. There are some mills and stuff that are not uh, really defended. Unfortunately, darkness has worn off, it seems. Keep them on them. Good. We do have cave bats we can throw down. Which be useful. At least Angmar has been crippled. They're pretty much dead. They do have a lack of structures there. I'm pretty much just saving for Sauron at this point. <laughs> Which I think would be great. So turn him into a melee stance there. Punch the elves. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Well, that went well. It's not over yet, but it's soon to be forward once again. See if we can't kill ourselves some open stuff. Let's actually fire all these. Damn Noldor warriors. Take up the tree. Uh-oh. Put us in a bit of trouble. Yeah, there you go. Fly towards the middle. Some more guys in. Darkness is up once again. We might lose our drug off to these null doors. Nope. They are quick enough to get away, fortunately for us. I know he wants them, so let's make sure he does not get them. This is my dragon. And we will purchase Sauron. I know we won't have time to actually use him. Might be cool. <laughs> if he actually does get made. Alright. Bushit has more than enough spider riders for us. Oh, That's unfortunate. Alright. Let's get some spiderlings, I guess. Bushit has a Balrog. Nice. Put some of these in. Help against these. Move everything over that way. More them, more them, more them, more of them. How, how far away? Uh, just have this feeling he's not going to make it. It's unfortunate. I mean, the giants pretty much are going to seal the deal here. Ball rock too. I mean, he does help. Let's get rid of this damn green pasture. It's the last thing we want around here. Cave trolls as well. Yeah, this is definitely going to be over soon. Ah. Oh well. 
should have been fun. But that was fun. And Titch has been defeated. Cool. We win. During a recording as well. Which is rare. <laughs> a lot of times I try to live commentary game and I just get utterly crushed. Which is never fun. And then you might not see that video. So. But we are victorious here. Me and Bushit. Well played to a Trimo and Titch. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed that game, and I will see you in the next live commentary game of Battle Formula 2, Rise of the Witch King, Patch 2.02. See you next time. You cannot die. I see you.